Hello, welcome to Appliance Master Live. I'm Bill, and my sidekick with me, as usual, right here on my left is Kari. Well, she's not right here on my left, but you know, <laughs> her image is, anyway. Kind of on the left. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us again. Today we're going to be talking about all about different, you know, various leaks that could happen with your appliances and what you can do to prevent them, some of the causes. Or yeah, so. just be vigilant and uh, watch for the signs of things before leaks occur, I guess. Yes. All right. Because a lot of, you know, water can do a lot of damage to your house, you know, mm -hmm. over time. So. So I guess like the first appliance that comes to mind when you think of something leaking might be the refrigerator. Right, Bill? Oh, uh, yes. You can get and a... Then what, yeah, what could be a cause of a leak inside the refrigerator? Well, a minor leak, a minor leak could be caused by a clogged defrost drain. And mm -hmm. that's when the freezer defrosts, um, half a cup of water maybe, goes, um, goes down the tube to the bottom of the refrigerator where you can't see it, where it evaporates. But if that drain clogs, mm -hmm. that water, you know, overflows the trough and finds other ways out of the unit. And over time, it builds up a, you know, big piece of ice and then will leak on the floor. That's, uh, yeah, it can, it can stain hardwood floors and cause a problem, but it's usually not a lot of water and you usually notice it pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that could be caused from, you know, a, even a minor spill inside the freezer, right? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, uh, so it's important to always clean them up as soon as you notice them occurring. And um, refrigerators, people may not know, but they circulate, they circulate the air in the refrigerator and every time you open and close the door, the room air comes in, so you always get mm -hmm. some of the same things, dust, small piece of hair and stuff so that stuff accumulates can, you know. mm -hmm. so yeah but other things and then I'm could sorry. a clogged condenser be a cause of a leak as well no uh condenser coils that typically makes the refrigerator run longer run hotter but that usually gets gotcha. clogged with dust pet hair such mm -hmm. but if you have people now have ice makers and water in the door for the refrigerator um uh that water line can leak and in fact um a lot, it was very common in the past to run plastic lines, like thin plastic lines, which get brittle really quickly. You know, three, five years, they get brittle and they can crack easily. And that could be a problem. That could leak, you know. And um, also copper lines. Typically, it's, not, it's, co it's common to have a flexible copper line behind your refrigerator. But again, mm -hmm. if you move it a couple times and you don't install that properly, that can kink and break pretty easily. The, um, just like every, other, like every other fill line in your house, dishwasher, washing machine, refrigerator. We recommend, you know, the mm -hmm. stainless steel braided lines. So they're really super flexible, durable, and you don't have to, I mean, you could run them over with the refrigerator and they wouldn't break. So uh, that kind of looks sort of like that, you know, on again, washing mm -hmm. machines, refrigerators, dishwasher even, um, best way to prevent those kind of leaks. Gotcha. And then, you know, as far as if you notice a leak happening, it's probably a good idea to make note of where the water shutoff valve is correct Absolutely. so you can turn it off yeah every appliance should have a, ref and a shut off near it like a refrigerator should have an appliance either mm -hmm. behind it or you know somewhere where you, you know obviously close to it and um we actually had a customer calling in and asking recently that their the water filter they had was leaking and um hmm. there's a lot of again if you have uh, water in the door ice makers a lot, a lot of units now have water filters that need to be changed and they're pretty, they're usually pretty simple to change. They usually just a, like a push and turn, half turn, or, you know, and they uh, have a rubber gasket. If you're getting, the, when those, you know, out, over time, those just get clogged with sediment. So mm -hmm. it probably wouldn't cause a leak from that, only if there was some kind of like where it mates, like if you've changed the filter a few times before and the rubber gasket gets displaced or the, 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 the mating uh, surface is somehow damaged, you can get a leak through there, but then again, no. If you know where the water shut off is, you know, shut that off. And even though if that filter leaks, you can replace the filter and the base of it usually. But just something else to keep an eye on. And then, as far as the other appliances in the kitchen, like a dishwasher, what could be a possible cause for a leak in the dishwasher? Well, you know, I've one one more thing back. Sorry, car. Back to appliances with the refrigerator. There's a pan mm -hmm. on on self defrost refrigerator. There's a pan underneath, and like every day that'll get two three four ounces of water and when the refrigerator defrosts um uh, if you ever see a lot of water in that pan that's a something's wrong because i know um 
people should, when they clean, take the front of their refrigerator off, like the toe kick, just looking for dust and things that fall under there. And you can also see that, def that uh, defrost uh, tray. So make sure it's in place. Sometimes they, I've had people take them out. They go, what's this piece of plastic? And then the defrost the water just goes on the floor. So. Gotcha. Yeah, that so, would not be good. Yeah, oh, so inspecting under the refrigerator once a year is usually an easy, just get on the floor, take the thing off, look inside, get a flashlight. And, um, mm -hmm. and you, I'm sorry, I stepped on you with the dishwasher, same thing. Uh, once mm -hmm. a year or so, take the bottom panel of the dishwasher off. Again, it's usually two screws, two or four sometimes, and then you can see underneath on most brands. If you just look for, you'd be surprised. You can see like, uh, you might see mouse droppings. You might see, uh, um, you know, things that have fallen under there that you lost. But the, mm -hmm. uh, what, the key is to look for water lines drip, dripping because, you know, over time, you know, you don't move a dishwasher, but um, the connections between a water valve and maybe the house plumbing, they do leak, they loosen up. And um, particularly, if a, it's very common to have dishwasher use this kind of, again, it's like a flexible copper line. The copper rarely leaks. It's the, uh, it's the end or the connections that attach to the house plumbing or to the dishwasher where you can get slow leaks over time. I'm sorry, Kari, and sorry I'm on a roll here, but also under dishwasher. No, that's a, the, um, a lot of good information. Yeah, like other places under the dishwasher, drain pumps, water valves, the mm -hmm. motor body itself can leak. Usually those are very slow leaks, but they're, every time you use a dishwasher, you might get a couple of tablespoons on the floor, which over time can warp your subfloor, cause all kinds of big problems. So periodic look under there is a good idea. Yeah, I guess as with most leaks, it's better to catch them early on and try to fix the problem as soon as you notice it rather than let it get worse and create a bigger catastrophe. It's like every time you get in your car, you should probably look at your tires and see if they look kind of normal. You get used yeah. to I mean, that's what I do. I mean, people should do that. This is the same. Once a year or so, when you're doing some extra cleaning, look under those appliances, look under your washing machine. That can develop leaks, you know, inside from a, around a transmission or other pumps and motors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And then it's the same thing with the washing machines, too. We recommend using the braided stainless steel hoses, right? Yeah, I mean, still to this day, a lot of this gets shipped with new appliances, like these black rubber hoses. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, if you're, these are okay, they can last, but they also, I mean, these, these ends corrode, and, uh, you know, sometimes those gaskets inside there, those little, oh, they leak. And, and also, what happens most with these is they'll get a blister, they'll swell. Like you'll, it'll actually get a, and if that blister pops, it, um, you got, you know, 30 PSI of water squirting around your house and you might be at work and yeah. on vacation or who knows where and it would be a real problem. That would not be good. I, I, you know, odd story. I actually witnessed that at my house. We were watering something and I, I was just sitting out on the patio and I watched the garden hose develop a blister. It got really big and then poof, and by the time it burst, <laughs> you know, good thing it was outside, but it was like, I actually saw yeah. it live once in my life. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, well, we're, uh, well, I think that's a, well, a lot of information for one day, right? Yeah, that definitely is a lot of information, but basically the best thing to take away from it is if you notice a leak, call Appliance Master, we can send a technician over, they can, you know, figure out where it's coming from and offer advice of, you know, what you might need to upgrade or replace in order to stop the leak and then prevent it happening again in the near future. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, you can give us a call 800-752-7123 or visit our website appliancemaster.com or just simply comment on this video and we'd be more than happy to get in touch with you. All right, great. Hopefully we'll see you again next week. Thanks for tuning in.